Hello and welcome to the unfortunate quarantine vlog. Um, I didn't really know if I wanted to do this vlog. I just, I didn't really know if it was like appropriate, but then I wanted to put like a positive spin on this because unfortunately, like I don't really know how long we're all gonna be quarantined for. I'm gonna do this vlog and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a couple days of it. I'm gonna get it up quickly. And I just want this to be a way for us to get through this together. And if you guys like this vlog, like I'll continue to do it. Maybe I can like continue to upload one like every two days, I'll just slap it together and do it. It is Wednesday, March 18th. It's been like six days. And today was like the first day where I kind of felt like really down and I was down in the dumps and my stomach was killing me. And that tends to happen because of my nerves, like when I get really nervous um, and I just have anxiety. So I feel like that's definitely what happened, but I wanted to flip the switch, change the mood. I put on some workout clothes. I'm gonna go do a workout video in the basement. Mike and I might go for a walk before I work out though. So. I am definitely a homebody and I have no problem staying at home because you guys know I work full time like I commute to and from the city and then when I'm home I'm filming I'm making YouTube content like social media content for my YouTube channel I'm practicing my makeup skills I'm trying to become a makeup artist so I like have a lot going on so I'm definitely not bored I think I'm just like anxious and nervous because this is a really uncomfortable feeling this is a really uncomfortable time in history you know what I'm saying so first and foremost I just want to say that the health of everyone is the most important thing like your health my health your family's health my family's health so if we have to be quarantined and stay away from people so that we don't spread this virus then it is what it is and that's the be all end all like that is the most important but i'm like sad because like my guy i've been engaged for a year and a half now and i'm ready to get married and i'm really looking forward to it and for me like i don't want this to be sad i don't want this to be sappy because this is going to be like a feel-good video that's really what i want this to be but i'm also going to be real with you guys like I'm kind of freaking out because Mike and I are supposed to get married in June. My bridal shower is in May and like our Vegas, like bachelor, bachelorette party. We're having a co-ed bachelor, bachelorette party. I don't know if I told you guys that. Um, our co-ed bachelor party is probably gonna be canceled. If you guys wanna talk about your feelings, like let me know where you're at. Let's have a conversation. Let's make this an open forum. This is just gonna be a mashup of my days being quarantined and what it is I'm doing. And I really hope that it gets you through. I hope maybe it inspires you to take better care of yourself. Like maybe exercise, drink water, sit by a, a friggin' window, like get some vitamin D. We're like sad plants right now, but we're trying to be happy plants. And that is the goal of this video. Mike writes his name on the whipped cream so that I don't eat it because if it didn't have this name I would really eat it all. I love whipped cream but this is Mike's whipped cream. I also love bagels and Chloe even though she's really mean to me. Do you want to share any tips on how you're getting through your quarantine? Well you're just like working a ton so. But you're getting me through. You and our pets. Right I'm sure we're all just driving you nuts. No no you're not. Right I'm right. Home with you. What did you say? I said when I retire, you have to go to work every day. I'm gonna miss you. That is not happening. You laugh, but it's not funny. I just did a 45 minute hit leg and abs workout. I will link it down below in case you're interested. That was really hard, but I feel so much better. I can't wait to shower and put a nice mask on and do some self love. Did you enjoy that workout? You enjoyed watching me? You know, I don't burn calories for you. Look at those, the cutest eyes, the cutest mouse, the cutest thing. Meow, I love you. I kissed you. I love you. Who's the cutest cat ever? It's you. Mmm. That looks really good. Mmm. Today is Thursday, March 19th. It is 11 a.m. I woke up. I answered some work emails. I have 
have a cup of coffee um and i am reading this self-help book i'm only on like chapter five and so far i like it i like it but like i don't like it but I don't know, we're gonna see. The Habit of Leading Yourself, a one-year guide to becoming unstoppable because I don't wanna be unstoppable. And this is by Kayla Craft. So I don't know, maybe read a good book, read a self-help book. I'm just like trying to educate myself during this time of nothingness. When I used to live in my old apartment, my apartment's like 35 minutes from where I live now, but I used to go to New York Sports Club and there was this amazing yoga instructor. She, and I've taken a lot of yoga classes, whether in person or online, she is by far the most amazing yoga teacher I have ever had the pleasure of practicing with. She so kindly uploaded a Facebook Live video. It's an hour long yoga video. She uploaded it this morning and she saved it to her page. So I did share it on my Facebook and I also shared it on my Instagram, I put the link in my bio. I don't know how long you can save a Facebook Live up though, but I will put it down below. But if it's not still there, I'll find another yoga video and put it down, one that I like, that, and I'll put it down there so you guys can join. And as always, I'm working here with my little assistant next to me. Hello. No, no, go ahead. Go back to sleep. How did I get so lucky to have the cutest cat in the entire world? He's so big, he does not really fit on this chair, my lord. So I took a mat from the basement, which is where we work out. I put it by the window and I'm gonna do yoga right here. Figured get some sunlight will help me feel better, really peaceful. And I'm gonna play Maria's Facebook Live video right now. Cheers to getting through this together. Good? Good stuff. Nice. I had a few mimosas and now I feel like eating my feelings. Wow, I look drunk. I also feel drunk. And I also want a chocolate chip cookie. This is so good. I mean, Vegas is already canceled, so what do I need to look exquisite for? I don't know. I'm drunk and I'm gonna work out. Rogan with the content. Oh. oh! Did it hit him in the head? Oh, poor man. Mike and I worked out after I had four, four mimosas. And I don't know why. I feel like I was just so drunk and bored that I wanted to work out again. So I did yoga this morning and then we did a half an hour of like weightlifting. I'm still drunk. Do I look drunk? Oh, but look at my face. Face is revolting against me and is breaking out because I just think that I'm stressed. I'm gonna have to go deal with these. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna do a mask, and then I'm gonna put some tea tree oil on my face. This ankle is horrific, but I'm gonna do this mask. Lassie Tan Soothing Mask because it just feels nice and my face is breaking out. It's not gonna help my pimples, but I need a relaxation moment. I need it real bad. Well, how are you spending your quarantine days? There's a lot of that stuff on the bottom of this. Hello. Is this thing on? Yeah. I look greasy, but my skin looks good. Hey. 
What do you mean you look greasy? You just I gotta wash my hair, man. Don't Tomorrow. Why? I can put whatever I want. We're 100% real on this vlog. We're all quarantined. We're in this together. Lord knows what the people watching this video are doing. Meow. So, what did we read today? That as of tomorrow, all nail salons, spas, tattoo parlors are closed? I had a nail appointment on Saturday. I wasn't going to go anyway, though, because we shouldn't be going outside. But I, I'm sad. My nails are going to look ratchet. I have an idea, though. What? We have a couple of old big pens in the kitchen. Why don't we pop the ink out and give each other prison-style ta tattoos? Okay. <laughs> I'm down. I feel like I'm artistic enough to That's pull that fun. off. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Tomorrow? All right. All right, I'm down. We have All to, right. We have to inject the ink under our skin. Like a legit tattoo? Yeah. No, no, no. I thought we were just going to draw with, like, markers. No, I was talking about, like, real tattoos. No, I'm not letting you tattoo my body. Are you nuts? What about a brand? <laughs> A brand? Yeah, like we'll heat up a fork or something. No! Brandy. Oh, I kind of like that though. <laughs> Good morning. Woof. I look so much better in real life than I do in this camera. <laughs> but what does it matter? No one's really seeing me. I mean, except for you guys, because I am uploading this on the internet for everyone to see. Mm. Anyway, okay. So, um, this is gonna be my last day of vlogging. I'll pick up the vlog again tomorrow, but I just want to wrap today up with like a lot of positive ideas, a lot of good ideas for you guys to go ahead and be productive during your time at home because I hope we are all quarantining and I'm making Mike some tea because Mike is a tea drinker and I am a coffee drinker. So I'm gonna finish up these cups of drinks, cup of coffee, cup of tea, energizers. I'm gonna bring them up to the office and I'm gonna work for a little while and then we'll work out. We'll get a feel good workout in, you know? feel better already. So I just did a Facebook Live um, yoga with Maria Coster. I'm pretty sure I mentioned her yesterday in this vlog. I've been like filming so much that I'm so confused as to what I mentioned anything in. Excuse me, I'm trying to film here. Thank you. I did my 30 minutes of yoga. So I worked out for 60 minutes today. I've been doing like this kind of two a day where I lift for 30 minutes or I do cardio for 30 minutes and then I'll do like 30 minutes to 50 minutes of yoga. So an hour, an hour and 20, it's been really nice. And considering I really don't have much else to do, it's nice and I highly suggest that if it's nice out wherever you are, go outside, do some yoga outside, get a workout outside, like 
bring your laptop outside. I'll just show you my setup. It's like really nothing fancy. I just have my laptop here. I have my phone in case someone calls me or I get a message on our like company chat. I got a water. I took my shoes off. I got a mat. I'm kind of just winging it and I'm out here on the patio. And honestly, it was just really nice to get a little fresh air in. The sun feels so nice. Thank you. Honestly, I really feel like this quarantine would not be like as rough if the weather was like this every day. Like it's so beautiful outside. And it's spring, happy spring. I don't think I said happy spring to any of you so far. Also, these are Amazon pants and they're so high-waisted and they're so comfortable and they're great because they don't slide down when I'm doing lunges or when I'm doing squats. So they're really, really nice. Um, I will link these down below as well. I think they were like 20 bucks or a little bit less. The sun, it feels so nice. Oh. Spring is here, but like I'm excited, but also like sad. I feel like it could be like a much more exciting time. Usually spring is really exciting, but I feel like right now we're all just like sad and confused. The world, it's like wild what's happening, you know? So we went for a walk, Mike and I went for a walk. It was so beautiful out and now I am wearing a mask. Let me show you what mask it is. It's not my mask. I stole it from Mike, but hold on. So before, we were all quarantined. Mike wanted a mask because he was having a mini breakout and I don't really have a lot of clay masks. I don't really break out, um, but I feel like with all this like COVID-19 and just like stress about my parents and like my dad having to work and just like, I just feel like this is a really stressful time. Um, Umbrian clay purifying mask from Fresh. I've heard really good things about this, which is why Mike and I bought it when we went to Sephora when he needed a mask because I was like, listen, you're gonna get a mask like the best masks are made by fresh and keels those are my two favorite so we got this one so i'm gonna leave this on for five to ten minutes but my dad um has been working throughout this whole thing and someone at his job has pneumonia and i really hope that it's just pneumonia and i really hope that it's not the coronavirus because honestly that would i like don't even want to think about it because i'm gonna get upset and i don't want to like be upset on this vlog and i just think like we're all worried we're all worried about our friends our family it's like those that we love and i'm just gonna put positive vibes out into the universe that my family's gonna be okay your family's gonna be okay mike's family's gonna be okay like i just that's the vibe that i'm gonna put out and i don't want to get emotional and upset because i wanted this to be a break for you guys i wanted this to be something where you can escape reality and maybe like spend some time not watching the news not scrolling through twitter and reading like all of the awful things that are being said like i really want this to be an escape so i am sorry that i brought it up but like on the other hand it is life and i'm not just gonna ignore that it's happening but i really hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog i am going to wash my mask off i'm gonna go downstairs i'm gonna have a glass of wine hang out with mike and our fur babies and just try and decompress um but i hope that you guys are all doing well i hope that this vlog served its purpose being to distract you for a little bit and i will definitely see you guys in my next one if you enjoyed this vlog and you would like to see more of my quarantined vlogs because let's be honest like those are all the vlogs that I'm gonna have because I'm quarantining myself because again I think it's really important for us to all just stay home and not spread anything and just do our duties as citizens then give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments um next vlog will be a little bit more exciting I actually got a package from Bloomingdale's several days ago that I have not tried on. So I will do a little like spring wardrobe haul with you guys. That will be fun and uplifting. Who doesn't love shopping? That always puts me in a good mood. Um, and I did get some recent new makeup that came in the mail a few days ago as well. And we will unbox that. So that will be in my next vlog. But I just wanna say thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to come hang out with me. Thank you for being a part of my channel because you have really been a distraction, a really welcomed, happy distraction. You guys mean a lot to me and I really hope that you are doing well and everyone that you know is doing well as well. If there's anyone out there that is watching this video that is really struggling in these times, like feel free to message me on Instagram. I'll put my handle here as well as down below. And if there's anything that I can do to help you, like please, please, please reach out and I will try my hardest to get whatever you need to you, whether it's like emotional support, physical things, just let me know. Um, I would be really happy to help anyone and I think that that's something that we should all be doing. I think that in times like these, we should all be reaching out, lending a hand and just checking in on people. Like just send people a text, ask them how they're doing. Like 
not only do we have to worry about people getting sick but also people's mental states like i think being quarantined especially like i think about the people who live in new york city and who live in like a studio apartment and are stuck in these like four by four walls and i can't imagine how they feel because some some days honestly i feel like the world is crashing and crumbling around me but imagine being in new york city right now in a small apartment so check on people i'm gonna close it out here i hope that you guys are having a great night whatever it is you're doing let's all talk about what we're doing down below let's inspire one another to you know stay positive and be proactive during this time of quarantine if you are someone that just wants to sleep and watch netflix and chill for this entire thing like power to you honey I support that. Whatever makes us feel good in this time of need. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.